Hey guys, my name is Tristan. I'm from A Plus Power Sports in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to go over my riding gear essentials for trail riding in Wisconsin. All right, to start with, a riding gear bag. This is my most favorite thing. This is gonna keep all your gear in one bag. So I have a roller gear bag from Polaris OGO, and this carries my mono suit, my mono suit liner, my boots, my helmet, gloves, base layers, and everything there is I keep in this one bag, and I roll it with me up north and carries everything, so it's great. And then I got my mono suit. So my mono suit is another favorite of mine. I always run a mono suit. It's the most comfy for me. It's less bulky, keeps me warm, um, and it's just a really comfy suit for me. So I always go with a mono suit. I go with the uninsulated FXR mono suit and pair it with the insulated liner. This is so that when we do go trail riding, I can throw that 180 grams of insulation in and then take it out when I don't need it if we are off trail riding. So that is this right here. Um, so this goes inside the mono suit and kind of acts as your insulated layer. And then you have a mono suit that is insulated for trail riding. Next are your base layers and mid layers. So always start with your base layer top. This is gonna be your moisture wicking layer to keep you dry so you're not cold and wet. Um, I have a couple of different layers that I use from FXR Climb N509. And then you'll also have your base layer bottoms. These ones are also gonna be your moisture wicking layer. Don't wear any cotton, that's actually gonna keep you colder and more wet. So stay away from cotton, use polyester, wool, or fleece. And then next are my mid layers. So for the mid layers, this is gonna be your warmth layer. This is gonna be your insulation. So I always wear a zip up over top of my base layer and then kind of like a jogger style over top of my base layer bottoms. And again, you won't wanna wear cotton for these as well. You're gonna wear some sort of fleece, polyester, or wool. And next we have our boots. I wear the FXR Helium Boa boots. I love my Boa boots. These are gonna be a retractable lace. So you just pop them out and they tighten really easy, quick and easy instead of lace ups and they stay tight all day. It is a stiffer boot, but I like that. It keeps my ankle supported when we are cornering and stuff. So you just twist the knob and it tightens and loosens super fast and easy. And then I pair it with the FXR Turbo Athletic Sock. Um, these are super great socks, keep my feet dry all day long and warm. Come in a pair of two and they're super comfy and soft for the inside of your snowmobile boots. And lastly, I got my helmet. I keep it in a helmet bag to keep it safe and not getting damaged from scratches or anything like that. Um, I run the FXR open face helmet, so I wear that with goggles. Even on the trails, I stay warm in it. It does have more vents than a heated shield helmet will, but keeps me warm still. Um, a very important part to that is this climb balaclava. It has a built-in breath box in it, so you won't fog. Um, I find that very important, as well as I will pair a neck gaiter for underneath it, just to give me that extra layer of protection on the neck, and sometimes I'll put it over my mouth if I need to. So those two are very important. And then another thing I have is a beanie. So after we get off the sleds and we go in somewhere, I throw a beanie on because of that hat hair. So this is a must have for the ladies I know you you guys will want that when you guys get off your sled and take your helmet off. And that sums up my riding gear essentials that I wear when I go trail riding in Wisconsin. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the section below. You can shop all of our current inventory at shopaplusfowersports.com. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for new weekly videos. Thanks for watching.